How are you this morning, Mayor? I'm doing fine, Joseph. It would be nice to see the sun again, but if it's not raining, so should we, we should be happy with that, right? It's, as I said earlier, we're having a Seattle summer this year, it seems like. <laughs> Although this summer isn't typical from what they are used to. Yes, that is true. The uh, un- unprecedented heat out there, so I guess we can consider ourselves lucky. <laughs> I guess we can. Yeah, I yeah. guess that. Uh, yeah. Was there any uh, problems in the city from uh, the tropical storm over over the weekend? Some minor flooding, but uh, nothing nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah, thankfully. How are the um, uh, seawall uh, repairs going? You know, I'm due to meet with uh, my commissioner on that. I know we had some issues early on. With the uh, with the design and so forth that was being worked out between the engineering company and the uh, contractor, so um, you know we're going to make sure we get it right according to spec. So, uh, but I think everything is moving. That is good news for sure. Any any chance some of the federal relief money might be used for those projects? Well, I think some of the federal relief money could be used for future projects. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still trying to figure all that out. Um, you know, so some of the federal money we already received um, is pretty specific and broad at the same time. But as you know, they're talking about a serious infrastructure bill, which could lead to, uh, you know, whether it could be seawall projects, it could be uh, water mains, it could be saw mains, who knows. But, um, you know, we'll wait and see how that comes down. Yeah. Speaking of uh, some uh, waterfront uh, issues, uh Proposal by the Park and Recreation Board to purchase some property along the Town River. How do you feel about that? Yes, I think that's uh, actually a pretty good idea. Um, you know, the we have a lot of waterfront in Quincy, but we don't have a lot of waterfront access necessarily. And, um, you know, that's that's a site that connects to the land we own at the tide mill. So it would give us a nice stretch of property along the Town River across from the Broad Meadows. As you know, we've been trying to site a rowing facility, and that's been difficult because of the uh, deep port designation areas. You just can't drop them anywhere along that the town river. So this would solve our issue with the boating. And, of course, we could expand it beyond rowing. It could be, you know, other things, kayaking and canoeing and things. The town river is a beautiful resource. Um, so I think it's a great idea, and uh, that's the direction we're going to head. Um, and I know there are those that, complain about too much development, uh, too much uh, density, and here's an opportunity um, to, you know, offset some of that with some open space parcels, as we've done in Montclair and as we've done along the beach. And so in the right location, picking up a parcel like this is uh, is very important, I think. Once it's built on, it's gone forever, Joe, you know. Mm. And I, I could see easily a 10- or 12-story condominium building there with a tall marina slip which would be nice and pay a lot of taxes, but then it cuts that property off from the public forever. And uh, I think this has great merit. Who who owns the property now, Mayor? It's a private, it's a family. Okay. Um, they've owned the property for a long time. It goes, goes back in history. I think there was a Pompeo family had a Cadillac dealership there way, way, way back when. Hmm. Um, so it's been in the family a long time. And uh, there was, I recall, years ago, a plan to develop that, um, but it never really came to fruition. Uh, on that property? Yeah. Was... I'm, I'm not familiar with that. I don't remember that one. I, I know um, further down, eventually with Kirk bought, it was, it was a big plan for that at one time with the apartments and things, but that fell apart, and then Cork bought that as a dealership. But okay. I'm not familiar with anything on proposed on this property okay. prior, to, prior to this. So you see it as a public asset? Could be a public boat ramp, perhaps? I, I do. I think it's uh, an opportunity. Even if we did nothing with it for now, it protects it mm-hmm. in the future. Uh, again, coupling it with the, the land we already own. But we've talked quite a bit about the wrong facility, and I think this is a ideal spot for it. It already has the, the license for it and uh, set up for it, so mm-hmm. it would be tremendous for our kids' programs. Would this be uh, from the Community Preservation Fund, perhaps? This could be the federal money. Oh, okay, very good. I know the friends of the Tide Mill are excited about the possibility of kind of activating that uh, for them as well. I'm sure they are. Yeah. <laughs> They're a uh, enthusiastic group. Indeed, yes. We'll wait and see. Very good.
Uh, since we last chatted, Mayor, uh, you have since uh, appointed your mayoral commission to investigate the issues of diversity, equity, and inclusion, and uh, a very thoughtful list of folks. Uh, it seems uh, you really uh, tried to get all all uh, aspects of the community involved. Yes, we did. I mean, it's um, it's challenging because this is such a diverse city in so many ways. So, you know, if you try to cover every aspect, you know, you'd need a a thirty-five member commission. Right. But you know, these are these are solid, good people with good backgrounds. Uh, I don't think any of them have an agenda going into it. That mm-hmm. was important to me. Um, there's some people that made up their minds one way or the other on this issue, and you know, I wanted uh, some fresh eyes on this. People that would, you know, take their life experience, their uh, and their, uh, you know, their experience in dealing in Quincy, and come together and look at the issues. You know, as you know, I don't I don't believe we need a Department of Diversity and Inclusion. I think the city is miles ahead of most communities on diversity. If you go back before the pandemic, Joe, there has been no issues in the city for a long, long time. Our school system has been flying, and, and our school system re- is a true reflection of the diversity of our city uh, in so many ways. I know a lot of people obviously talk about the, the Asian influx, but we've got uh, 23 different primary languages spoken at a couple of our elementary schools. So it's uh, pretty remarkable. Um, now, having said that, I am... You know, I know I'm biased because I'm the mayor, and I always look at the positive. But, you know, I, I want this group to take a look at the city, look at what we do, uh, perhaps do things better, perhaps things we, we're not doing we could be doing to better the experience. Um, I think we've got some great community organizations and assets in place that already assist us in many ways for our newcomers. Um, so, I, you know, I, we'll take a look at it. I don't. I didn't give the commission any specific instructions. Um I, I've asked them to uh, come together to look at this issue for me, to come uh, to me with recommendations in the fall, any thoughts they may have. I think they're going to be surprised, actually, when they meet with some of the department heads on so much that has been going on very quietly uh, for a long time. So um, and I appreciate Councilor Kane agreeing to chair it. Uh, obviously, he's uh, he's a kid that grew up in the city and uh, with, with a great diverse background, a uh, a black American father and a white Irish mother, um, and uh, Ian Green brings a great uh, perspective to the commission. So, um, as do the other eight members. So, I'm pleased that they said yes, and uh, look forward to their work. And, I, and what I said to them, look, I don't want this to become a a um, you know laborious for them. So, the city would provide any resources. In other words, when they're asking for census information, or particular statistics on things, and you know, we can provide all that to them. Um, and so they're not wasting time chasing things down. So, um, you know, I, I know that I've already heard from some folks from the Black Matters community. They're not happy because some of them were not included uh, in the commission. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. We've got, uh, I think, a great representation of a cross-section of people and cultures uh, that are in our city. So, um, you know, again, they they got their work to do. I told them I'm getting out of the way. Um I introduced uh, myself to them at the meeting. I let them know my thoughts, and I said, I'm, I don't want this to be political. I'm getting out of the way, and I'm looking forward to the report. Mm-hmm. They're all volunteering their uh, their time. So. All volunteering. Yeah. I tell you, that's one of the great things about the city. We've got over 180 volunteers on boards and commissions in the city. You know, they don't get any money, no stipend. Um, you know, and I look at the neighborhoods and all the organizations, and, you know, citizens continually step up in the city without any concern or compensation to do the right thing. Finally, Mayor, a uh, delayed uh, uh, anniversary celebration for the birth of President John Quincy Adams yesterday. Yeah, they delayed it for rain from Friday so we could have it on rain on Monday, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, um, it, he was a remarkable individual, uh, as, as you know, Joe. I, you could spend hours and hours with lectures and panel groups to talk about him. He's a very complicated guy, uh, a genius, uh, widely um, said that he had the highest IQ of any of the presidents. Uh, I mean, he served in the, you know, he's a diplomat, secretary of state, president, a congressman, a senator. I mean, the guy did it all. Yeah. And, and I, I was talking a little bit yesterday about the, the book, The Lost Founding Father by William Cooper. Um, and it really talks about towards his, his years in the Congress and his end years. And um, the remarkable reception he was receiving as he visited different parts of our country 
in his later years and the appreciation that grew for him and what he stood for, which was really a um, strong principal guy, uh, not a party guy. I mean, he went against his, his own party on a couple of major issues and actually resigned from the Senate over one of those issues, the embargo of Britain. Um, so I, I think that, you know, the Adamses should be held up today even more so because of their, their stand, um, their love of country first. And, and I think we've lost some of that. Some people are a Democrat or Republican before they're an American. And when you have the extremes on both sides pulling that rope, um, you know, the folks in the middle, uh, it gets more and more difficult. So um, he's certainly someone that uh, we should be holding up and, and uh, more political people should be aspiring to to serve as such as, uh, as he did, truly. Yeah. Speaking of uh, issues of uh, justice and equity, the uh, successful defender of uh, the slaves uh, from the Amistad. That's, a, that's right. If you look at him and his, his life and contributions, you know, obviously we all evolve over time, you know. And, uh, but his years in Congress, I mean, he was, long before Abraham Lincoln was talking about it, John Quincy Adams was talking about the slave issue and, uh, you know, what an outrage it is on our, and a blemish on this country. So um, he clearly was way ahead of his time on that issue and so many others. I mean, he, when he was president, he was talking about roads and canals and observatories and uh, people just couldn't fathom it and uh, embrace it at the time. He's just, they weren't ready for that. And, uh, you know, in many ways, this is probably his greatest contribution uh, was as a diplomat a congressman, not so much president. But certainly, I, I think it, it's uh, arguably he went down historically as the greatest secretary of state. I mean, he penned the Monroe Doctrine under President Monroe. That's right. yep. um, it's just an incredible mind. And we'll celebrate his uh, father's birthday in October. That's right. Another genius. Another yes. great patriot. Absolutely. Appreciate your time as always, Mayor. Joe, enjoy the day. Thank you. You as well.